Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Superstar! Everyone in this match is competing at such a high level. I predict one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. Hey, we know Charlotte will do anything and everything to win. She's got to have that same mentality here tonight. The queen has arrived. And boy, does she know how to make an entrance. And his opponent from the Queen City, weighing in at 144 pounds, Charlotte. The personification of majestic elegance, a fearless defender of her crown. She says everyone will bow down to her. There's no question Charlotte is WWE royalty, but Charlotte often lacks compassion for those around her. Well, that comes with the territory when you've been superior most of your life. Flair says she's proud to be a queen and she should be celebrated. Well, Flair will also embarrass and humiliate those who choose not to fall in line. Greatness has a name, and it is Charlotte Flair. Lover or hater, she is truly the measuring stick of this division, standing head and shoulders above her peers. Here we go, Extreme Rules match time. No disqualification, no count out, anything goes. Hashtag Extreme Rules if you wanna get in on the conversation. You can tell that each superstar is coming into this match a little extra cautious, a little more nervous because of the uncertainty an Extreme Rules match presents. Ooh. Up to the electric chair, down for the drop. A forearm smash. Turning the tables there. Sidewalk slam. Almost drove him through the ring. Into a double knee drop. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He's lining him up. Up high. Cross body from the top. Into the pin attempt. Denying a two count there. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Oh, my God. Charlotte is looking unstoppable now. Charlotte's really turning it up. That's for sure. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. I don't care what they say. Nothing good ever comes from getting the tables. He's heading back to the ring. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs. No worries. Looks like he's ready to bust some... Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper! Can you imagine what it would do to his... Oh, his will is getting tested here. Firing off those shots, not having much effect, and this time, it works. Here it comes. Brought down with a neck breaker. What kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a no-disqualification match? 
a ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon. Take down, looking for the cross face. It's cinched in, this could be over. Michael looking to free the arm and does just that. Ah, oh, setting them up, gonna hoist them up high. Fall away slam into a kip up. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Gets inside the ring. Took him out at the knee. He's looking a little off balance. From the second rope. Sunset flip! Wow. Flair retaliating. Oh, man. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. Bam! And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Underhook applied. Side effect. Cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Ooh. Oh, God. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. And the queen might be hurting after that hit. Well, you don't sign up for an Extreme Rules match without knowing the consequences, Cole. He had it scouted. Throwing down the proverbial gauntlet. Where is this going to go next? Taking this to the floor. Oh, impressive counter. A oh, dragon screw ankle breaker. Targeting the ankle. Goes without saying, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. And some effective offense with that one. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Just bashing them with that hammer. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. And things are just going from bad to worse. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And a heinous attack to the knee. Uh-oh. Fend it off by the crossbody. Oof. Devastating knee to the neck. And Charlotte displaying this kind of demeanor must be an inherited trait. Oh, Charlotte Flair steps through. Here we go. Figure eight. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Soaring. Oh, what a splash. That's got to be it. Two. And still in this. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Evades their offense. Oh, reverse back elbow. So precise. Setting him up. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. He's taking this to the floor now. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. Charlotte maintaining a ruthless attack. Charlotte exhibiting that genetic superiority. Boom! Oh, Matt slam with some attitude. Treating the torso to yet another attack. And Flair gets that turn back on her. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, pump handle. Boom. Oh, and a gut buster. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. He has a ladder now. No telling how many ways he plans to use it here. And Charlotte on the receiving end of even more offense. Here's where Charlotte's ability to endure could get called into question. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. And the Queen hits a spear! That's Charlotte showing what it means to be the epitome of excellence. Often imitated, never duplicated. Ah, oh, just trying to pound their opponent into the ground even further. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. This has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long-term effects. The Queen looking disgusted to be in the ring with her opposition now. He gets out of the way. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Whip back into the ring. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? He gets the kick out after the one. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. Ugh. Nice drop kick. Yes. Suck in the tree of woe. No escape in sight. All eyes focused on this absolute war. It doesn't get more masterful than this. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. Oh, watch out. There's a seat for your face. Ducks under. Pele kick. Walked right into it. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Nothing quite like the phenomenal forearm. He hit it. Nothing Charlotte Ten. Flair can do now. Three, no, a two count. This just has to be Charlotte's DNA. It's the genetics that caused her to kick out after that maneuver. Though you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. Whoa. Hamstring crushing knee strikes. Repeated strikes. Charlotte able to steer clear. Placed into the corner. Stop to the knee. A consistent attack being mounted on Flair. Charlotte's got to find a way to... Oh, Charlotte. Shot to the midsection. And Charlotte now hooking her away. Natural selection. Did Charlotte just Cover. end this? It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Charlotte! And Flair displays her greatness in victory. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies.